We worked on, on a rough level doing rehearsal and demonstration tapes and stuff and made, a, made the whole album up once for rough over three or four months, over three months maybe. And then we spent uh, three months recording. We started then, the, the real recording, we started in about May, about May of 79. And we spent three months in the south of France and then two months uh, in Los Angeles um, overdubbing other musicians, singers, doing all the mixing and the sequencing. And I mean, any interesting scenarios that go along with that? Because I'm sure some of the things I want, I thought, oh, why did they get that? It must be a little story behind some of those things. Well, um, some of them are, uh, are done just by switching on a television set and taking whatever comes. And the most extraordinary accidents happen, you know, you just... You've got the tape playing away, you know, and you turn on the TV set, and someone on the TV set will say something that means something in what's going on. It has a relevance. It's extraordinary how often an accident can happen like that. Amazing album that it is. The longest ending rock album, I'd say, on, on American charts ever, as far as rock and roll is concerned. Since Johnny Mathis' is greatest hit. No, but rock album, I said. <laughs> I tried to make that specific. Johnny Mathis is rock and roll. <laughs> what do you think makes uh, Dark Side of the Moon so special, and to give it that longevity? I haven't got a clue. You see, it, it, haven't you found it curious? I think it's very curious. I, I've, I've always been staggered by it. <laughs> like, I, I cannot believe that people would want to go on buying it. I mean, it, I think it's a good album. I think it uh, was certainly the best album we'd done uh, to date at that point. I, but I still, I mean, there's been an awful lot of good albums out mm -hmm. over the years that come in and do their little bit and sell their records and everyone takes them home and listens to them for a few months and then Maybe once every five years they get them out and have another little listen to it, but I, I cannot for the life of me understand why it should go on like that. We have no Pink Floyd plans right now. Whether we will have or when we will have is anyone's guess. We haven't made any decisions on Pink Floyd. We haven't decided to uh, disband it or to continue it or to do anything.